Okay, so um, I did a lot of scouring through the internet trying to find the correct parts um, to replace that pulley harmonic balancer. I found a cover. Um, I got that. I did find this pulley. It says it doesn't fit, um, but all the measurements seem the same. Um, this is the part number. Um, so I've measured the diameter, how far out that recess is. Um, everything else is seems to be the same. Now, from the inside race to the top is the same, but this one, the centerpiece seems to be moved back just about a quarter of an inch or just in that ballpark. So I'm going to go ahead and test fit it on here and see how it lines up with the pulleys. If it looks like it's close, we're going to send it um, because finding a 90 pulley that is not V-belt but ribbed um, is pretty much impossible. I found lots of V-belts and actually, what the hell? It almost looks like, I didn't notice that yesterday, but let's see if we can see that. It looks like the harmonic balancer has actually been rubbing on the cover anyway. So it could have been out of alignment this whole time. So that's interesting because, um, so yeah, so I do have a new cover. I'm not going to take it off before vacation, but I want to test fit this. So in case I need to send it back, I can throw it back in the mail in the next day or two before I leave. So let me grab my tool and we'll see what happens. Okay. So I have put the pulley on and it is almost tight to the point where it wants to turn the motor. Um, I laced the belt around the power steering and the alternator pulley and lined it up with the harmonic balancer. And the harmonic balancer is still sitting just about, I don't know, maybe an eighth forward. Not much. Uh, we still do have some room here for it to go back. Um, so maybe if I tighten that all the way down to where it's supposed to be at 80 foot pounds, everything would line up. Um, I did hear the same pop, um, but unlike the other one where it stayed fairly easy to install, this one did tighten up. So what we're going to do is go ahead and pull this back off, make sure that everything is good, and we'll probably end up keeping this harmonic balancer and uh, doing the timing chain and everything when we get back. I'm also going to drop the oil pan because this timing chain has a... Um, tensioner that is uh, slipped into the side of the um, timing chain cover and you have to reset the uh, tensioner and then you can do it from the top um, I've seen people do it but it's hard to reset from the top so I'm just going to drop the oil pan this way I can clean out any of the crap that's in there but so let's go ahead and pull this back off and we'll see what we got Okay, so it didn't break, but I can see some damage right here where the Woodruff key goes. And I don't know how well that's going to show up, but it cracked it right at the edge of the Woodruff key. Um, when I got down there and looked, the Woodruff key has some damage to it. So, my guess is the previous person didn't put this on right damaged the woodruff key and that's why when i tried to put the other one back on it just snapped it um that's kind of my guess because i mean why would this one break um so i guess we're gonna go ahead and uh, return this one as damaged and uh guess we will pull that woodruff key out when we get the timing chain cover off we'll replace it with a new one and hopefully we'll measure it up and make sure that it's the correct size but it looks like this pulley is, will work we just need to get uh, that key because I can see some damage right here in this one corner so maybe that's what it is because I can see kind of a booger on the edge of the woodruff key that's the only thing I can think is what caused that to pop. 
but other than that this one did fit it did go all the way back to where it needed to go um, so that's just what we're gonna do and we're gonna call that a day all right thanks for watching I know it's a short video but like I said I'm getting ready for vacation I just want to get this part in and tested before I left